reaching your screen at the speed of light. Now, if I were able to travel at the same speed through space, it would take me over four years to get to the nearest star. An impossible journey? Not in science fiction, for this is a strange and alien world. It gives us glimpses into the future and hints at utopias to come and horrors in store. In tonight's play, we look into a city of the future, a city beneath its own artificial sky, built to protect its people from destruction by the outspace. A man lives here named Roger Carter, and if his problem isn't the most amazing you've ever come across, then my name isn't Boris Carlo. I'll call him now and we'll get it over with. It's too early. He won't be ready to leave yet. Well, I could call him, couldn't I? I mean, I could tell him I'm waiting. And if he says, don't bother to wait? Well, I can, uh, I'd, uh... You can call him at the usual time. There must be nothing out of the ordinary. Must be like any other night, you might give him a lift home. Oh, all right, all right. Look, settle down, will you? Oh, I wish it was over. I wonder what he's doing. Carter's going through his usual routine. There's no reason why he shouldn't. Now sit down. Looking for the test I just came through. Oh, that was quick. Go on. Ask Paul if you can spare a minute, will you? Yep. Jean, can you spare a minute? Uh, tell him to bring Richards up as well. Oh, will you bring Richards yep, up? Yep, I heard. We'll be right up. Have you found it? Yes, it's right about here, I think. Mm, it's a long way outside the dome. Mm, about 70 miles. That ought to keep the transport section busy. How long have we got? Firing dates May the 14th. Mm, that's two weeks. Date me anything, do you? The 14th? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, that was when the war began. What is it? 18 years now? Mm, this will be the 19th. I hope we finish it this time. We will, I'm sure. Anyway, things haven't been too bad since they built the Protect Dome. It stopped the bombing. But if our weapon doesn't wipe them out, well, the outspace technicians must be working on something to penetrate the dome. Of course it'll work. Of course, eh? I hope she's <laughs> Ah, Paul, good. Something come up? Yes, we've given the firing site. Oh, great. Well, I don't know. It's a long way outside the dome. Have to hustle to get the stuff out there. The transport's all set, sir. Good. You know the area? I've never been there, but it's right about there. Mm. I don't know it either. Right on the visio, man. Yeah, sure. What square is it? 4A. What a lousy spot. Don't they have to send us out that far? Yeah, it's probably just as well. They can't risk damaging the dome. The flashback could be pretty powerful. It'll have one good effect. It might destroy some of those pathetic mutos. There can't be a lot of them left out there now. They had one at the circus. It was horrible. Yeah, there's some talk about bringing in a law to protect them when the war's over. They'd never get away with that. They might. They say that some of the young ones are beginning to look like humans again now. Oh, excuse me. Mm. That's true, you know. A couple of friends of mine spent a holiday shooting you toes. They wounded one and they caught her. They kept her for the whole fortnight up in their cabin. They're going to be too busy for hunting. Paul, you set up your end of things. Richards, let yes, me have sir. your transport schedule as soon as you get it out. I'll look in tomorrow, sir. Yes, good night. Good night, sir. It's Mr. Nelson. He'll be leaving in a couple of minutes if you want to lift home. Oh, fine. Tell him I'll meet him out front, eh? Yes. Right? He's on his way. Anything else? No, I don't think so. Just phone my wife. All right. Good night. Hi, Jane. Oh, Mary. I'm just leaving. Frank Nelson's giving me a lift. In about an hour. It's all right. Bye. Sit down. Hello. Hello, Frank. Roger. This is Major Peters, sir. Roger Carter. Oh, hello. Thanks for waiting, Frank. Oh, uh, transporter zero, zero, 002. Route 27, index 9A. Check. Thank you. 
Zero, zero, two, you're now on automatic control. There. Oh, what's the latest news, Frank? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing much. Our task force knocked off a couple of our space rockets. Oh, and we're meeting... We're meeting heavy opposition on Alpha. That's about all. Oh, I don't know. News never seems to change. I'll be glad when we fire that weapon and finish it all. These last few months, everything seems to have got so grim and serious. Do you think the war's in vain, then? Vain? It's just been going on a long time. I think I'm just very tired, that's all. You're an integral part of it. We're putting a lot of faith in your project. You don't work out at the plant? No. Uh, Major Peters is with security. Oh, really? I hope there's no infiltration on the project. That's why I'm here. I want to talk to you about that. To me? Why? You kill him. Shall I kill him? Shall I kill him now? Frank, what's going on? We don't want them to take any chances. Let me kill him, Peters. Frank, what's the matter with you? Peters, what's the matter with you? I don't take that. Get back on the man you control. Take us out of the dome now, quickly. Frank, what? Peters, who are you? What are you doing? What are you waiting for? Kill him now! Let's get out of the dome first for safety's sake. Anyway, I want to ask you some questions. <laughs> you want to ask some questions? Be quiet. Uh Peter's done. And the arrest has been made. Oh, good. Well, let me see him. Well, they really did a good job on him, didn't they? Yes, sir. What are you doing to me? Any complications? Oh, none, sir. He entered the transporter without suspicion. He didn't think my being here too unusual. Oh, where are you now? We're just heading outside the Protec Dome. I think we can assume the critical period is past. It should be a load off everyone's mind. Yes, sir. All right, stay at maximum speed. Finish it as soon as you can. Yes, sir. That's all. That's it. Oh, and uh, well done, both of you. Thank you, sir. Look, your... oh, Peters, I'm trying to be rational. I know you're doing a job of work, but somewhere, somehow, you made a terrible mistake. Oh, Nelson, he was my friend. Why does he want to kill me? Where are you taking me? For heaven's sake, what's going on? We're taking you out of the dome. When we're far enough away from the city, we're going to destroy you. Tomorrow, the scientists will take over and keep cutting at your body until they find what they want. We'll be leaving the dome any minute. You're going to destroy me? Yes. Tell me what I'm supposed to have done. Two days ago, an outspace rocket landed just outside the Protect Dome. Huh? The rocket carried a humanoid robot. Robot? It was the function of this robot to destroy a particular human being and to take his place. What are you telling him for? He knows it already. I don't. I know nothing. I know nothing of this, I tell you. That's quite possible. Built into this robot was a liquid U-bomb. The bomb would be detonated by a particular spoken phrase, a certain group of words. All right. I understand this. What's it got to do with me? This robot was built so perfectly. It was built to resemble someone living in our city. He was to kill that person, then take up the victim's usual activities, his job, his social life. And this robot was built so perfectly that no one would know the difference. No. No, no, you're wrong. You were to impersonate Roger Carter. No, you're wrong. Believe me, you're wrong. You probably substituted yourself for Carter last weekend when he went out of the dome alone. Yes, I did leave the dome. I remember now. <laughs> if I were a robot, I, I couldn't remember. Could I? I'm Carter. You're a robot. A machine designed to resemble a high-ranking official on our principal research project. The project that would wipe out the people that made you. You're nothing but an animate bomb. Carter. Roger Carter. Can't you understand? Frank, you know me. We've
We've known each other for years. What, it must be about ten years, no? Well, tell him, for heaven's sake, tell him. Stop it. Stop it, Peters. He killed Carter, shot him. All right, all right, Nelson. So they built a robot like me. Something went wrong. I'm still me. But the transfer wasn't made. What went wrong, I don't know, but I do know that I'm still myself. You're a robot with an artificial memory system, false recall. You look like Carter. You have his thoughts, his memories, his interests. You could do his job. But you're just a robot. No, no, I'm Carter! There must be something. X-ray. What about X-ray checks, eh? Well, they have, what's that, the neurological test. You've got to give me that much chance. You can't kill me while there's still some doubt. There's no doubt. It's an astonishing machine. Security was right. It's perfect, right down to the emotion mechanism. Give it a few more miles just to be on the safe side. There's one more thing. If I'm a robot, why haven't I said this trigger phrase? Huh? Well, if I had a bomb in me, I'd have said these words to detonate it while we were still in the city, wouldn't I? Wouldn't I? In the city where I'd do most damage. The city, yes, that's what we were worried over. You're thinking like Carter. You see, they couldn't equip a robot with a memory of its own origin or purpose. So the trigger phrase would have to be some piece of language in Carter's vocabulary, probably a technical phrase that he'd use at the plant. If only you could doubt. How much further? We're about 10 miles out now. I'll give it another five. Right. There's an old city up there ahead. Yes, that should do. Oh, I'm so tired. Robot has escaped. Men are hunting. They'll be back soon. Still. God. Keep still. God. Kind of kill me. Back to the back of the dome. The men will decide. Please. Please. I can't, I can't breathe. Give me your gun. Have we got a gun? Please. The normals always have guns. Oh. They're going to kill me. Please. Help me. Hey. You've got to believe me. I must make them. Why must they kill you? It's hard to say. They think I'm somebody else, eh? They like to kill. The normals enjoy it. Nice. No, they think I'm a danger to them. It's not true, but that's what they... The many of you? They say so. We are only 40 who live near here. 
They say there are many bigger groups. I didn't know. I thought there were only a few of you left. That's what they want. The normals want to finish us. Why else would they hunt us? No, no, that's not true. Some of, us, some of the normals want to help. They still kill us. Oh, and it won't always be like that. After the war, some are talking of ways to protect the mutants. We can never live with the normals. Yes, you wouldn't have to. There'll be towns and hospitals, places where the normals can help you. We don't need help, only to be left alone. Left alone for a long time. The deformities grow less each year. I've Our children are born more like normal every generation. Yes, I've heard this. The radiation is dropping all the time. Some of the men speak of the time when the mutos will all be born in the image of the normal. I believe it. The weapon. The weapon! Still! No, no, you must listen to me. I know something. There's a weapon. They're going to fire it soon. Out here, far away from the dome. They have made a weapon to kill us? No. No, it's against the outer space people, but they... Flashback when they fire it, the neutron motors will blast everything, kill everything for 50 miles. How do you know this? I designed this weapon. I will tell the men. Yes, tell them. If you are to survive, you must tell them. They'll be back soon. The men, when they do get back, what will they do to me? They will use you for trade. Trade? Those born without limbs can't hunt. You could work for them. If you're difficult, they'll kill you. This weapon, if I let you go, showed you the way back into the dome, you would stop it? No, I... They wouldn't stop it for me. I don't think I would anyway. If it succeeds, it will win the war. I will tell the men. Here in the dark, I will draw a map. You can find your way back into the dome. What's your name? Darby. There are many tunnels in the old city. They will take you to the river near the dome. This is probably the old sewers. And just a minute. Ah, yes, I see. It's the river. Yeah. Sorry. I understand. I'll go first. Darby, I I'll need a weapon. Thank you. We've listed all the names on these documents. We're checking the addresses now. Good. Send a unit to each one as you find it. I don't think he'll try and contact anybody. He'll have to. While he really believes he is Carson, he'll keep trying to prove it. He'll go to his friends. Are you going to warn them? No. Well, you must. If he convinces them, if they believe he really is Carter, they might keep him undercover. No, he'll convince them that he's Carter, all right. That's why I'm not going to advise him. You'll find it easier to believe him than me. Why? Why should they? Because he looks like Carter, talks like him, walks like him, even thinks like him. Now, think back. You were his friend. How long did it take me to convince you that Carter was dead? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Peters? I'm... He's inside the dome. Hmm? Somewhere in this section. Can we see him? No, something broke through the photo wall. A4. They got the shadow image of a man. It's him, all right. What do you think he'll try first? Not a good idea. This is one person I'd like to convince of the truth before he gets there. Come on, I'm going to need all the support I can get. Well, come on. What's the matter? It's, it's too involved. I can't explain now. They may break this call off at any minute. Oh, what do you mean? Why, why should just, just they? listen to me. Go down to the plant and get hold of Mark Parker. If you can't get him, get any doctor. Are you sick? What's the matter? Now, just listen. Bring him to the house and make him wait. He must wait there for me with equipment. X-ray, fluoroscope, everything. Do you understand? Yes, of course I understand. Do as I, I say. 
Are you alone? Yes, yes, Darling, alone. darling. They haven't contacted you. Who? Nelson, you haven't heard from Nelson. No, no, of course not. Roger. Oh, darling, I, I don't understand. Darling, what is all I'll about? I'll explain it all when I get home in about, about an hour. Just be sure you get a doctor to the house. I'll be back as quickly as I can. No, Major Peters has left. What? I see. Have you informed headquarters? Right. Monitoring. They just put through a call to Carter's wife. Now, the call came from out here. Hmm. He's moving quickly. Lambert? Oh, yes, Miss Barron. Yes, as Mr. Carter's secretary, you should be able to help us. We're trying to trace the addresses of some of Mr. Carter's friends. Now, if I give you a list of names, do you think you could tell me where they live? Oh, good. Well, here we go. the addresses now. I've got men watching all of them. Right, that's all we can do for the minute. I'll be in as soon as I've finished here. What now? How is she? Oh, she'll be all right. What are we going to do? We wait, he'll show up. Wait? You can't just wait. That, that thing is a, is a bomb. He's loose somewhere. What if he should say the trigger phrase? Then he'll blast the dome right off the city. Well, then do something! It's already done. Next time he shows himself. Going down to the plant, coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'll just say goodbye to Mary. Carter, what is it? What's happened to you? They've been here. Who? What are you talking Does about? Does anybody telephone you? Well, security called from the plant a couple of hours ago. What did they say? What did they tell you? Well, they wanted the addresses of some of your friends. Yes. Yes, that's what they want to. I don't understand what's happened. Jean, you give me a cup of coffee. Yes, of course. Jean. Your husband. Is he here? No, no, he won't be back. We're alone. Look, why don't you clean up while I'm making the coffee? No. And Jean, if anybody telephones when they call, you tell them we're alone. But don't worry. I'll get the coffee. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Peters? Huh? Well? Nothing. All the units have called in. Nothing. How long are you going to wait? Well, if he's not caught by morning, I'll have his picture run on the news machines. Well, do it now. What are you holding back for? Because the propaganda boys need time to dream up a good cover story. They have to erase memories, plant beliefs, and know if the truth got out, the panic would cause as much damage as the bomb. All right. But every time he talks to somebody, he gets closer to that trigger phrase. 
And she was screaming for them to kill me. They did a good job on her, whatever they did to her, whatever they told her. She believed it. They called me a murderer. I couldn't believe it. I wandered around for a bit. Finally, I came here. You're sure they weren't watching the building? I don't know. I was very careful. Well, you're safe now. You can stay here with me. My husband is working out at the dome extension. He'll be away a couple of weeks yet. No, no, Jean, I... I must get proof. They must believe that they're mistaken. But you can't go out again. Stay with me. Jean, I've only got a couple of hours. But they can't know you're here. And tomorrow, you don't show up at the plant and they'll suspect. You do go there and... They won't convince you that I am not Roger Carter. They couldn't make me believe their lies. My own wife, they made her believe. Now I got your warning. There must be proof somewhere. Look, let's start at the front. Let's assume that Peter's information was correct. We'll take it that the Earth space people did build a robot like me and it reached Earth in a rocket, all right? Yes. Now, to take my identity, I had to be disposed of. Now, this is what Peter's believed happened. We know that the robot failed. Why? How'd it fail? There's another way. If the robot was in the image of someone else. What do you mean? What if the robot was made to replace Peter's? If Peter's was the robot? Well, it would follow, wouldn't it? In that position, he could bring doubt about anyone. Think. Head of security. He can go where he likes as Peter's. The robot could wreck the project. <laughs> no, Jesus. It could happen. On the face of it, he's not as important as you. But security act on his word. First it's you. He makes sure you're killed. Then Paul, Richards. Oh, can't you see? It's more subtle, but it's deadly. And the real Peters is dead somewhere. Well, it must be. It would work perfectly. Yes, it would. Well, what can we do? Oh, slow up, slow up, slow up. Look, let's take both thoughts. If the robot was in my image, then it, uh, it failed to take over. It was probably destroyed when the ship landed. And if it was Peters? Then it took over. If a rocket did crash, then the real Peters would know about it. He, he'd have to go out and see it. And the it? robot would kill him. And the real Peters would... The body of the real Peters would be somewhere near the rocket. <laughs> that's it! That's it! That's it! That's it! That's the proof that we need! <laughs> You'll have to find the rocket. Find the rocket. <laughs> There must be some way. There must be some way. Suppose he'd try and get proof that he really is Carter. A doctor or somebody. Mm, I don't know. A little while ago, I met up the chain of logic. I figured he'd try and get out of the dome and find the rocket. He couldn't do it. He'd never find it. Yes. That's where the logic ran out. It's too much of a long shot. He'd... Uh, he'd never find it. His reasoning will be snarled up with hysteria. So that rules out any logic. There's one thing I'm sure of. He'll show himself before morning. Where? Will you tell them, James, to me? Mm, they're coming on if they're working metal now. I don't think they made it. Probably picked it up somewhere. Very light. Probably an alloy of some kind. Strong, too. Probably been snapped off something. Coffee. I don't think this is an earth alloy. Well, there are probably a lot of old wrecks out there. Now, look at it. Look, look at the gleam on it. It's quite new. There's no tarnish, no rust. Could be some sort of antenna. I know what you're thinking, but 
It's a pretty vain hope, isn't it? It could be from the Earth space rocket. Well, it all fits the Muto scavenger for a living out there. But you'd still have to find it or find the Muto to take you to it. But it's a chance, Jean. It's a possibility. It's such a remote chance. It's not worth the risk. Oh, sure, it's a risk, but it's worth a try. Jean, you've got a transporter. Take me out to the edge of the dome. Roger, look, stay here. Something will come up. But there must be a better way. Jean, I've got to try it. Will you take me? I'll get ready. I'll call the transporter. Here. Near the river. Take 012, manual. Automatic control. Transporter 7397. Working on manual on 012. Check. Thank you. Should be there in about 10 minutes. Roads should be pretty clear now. Do you really think you can find the cellar with the Muto again? I think so. Yes, I'm sure I can if I can once get into the right area. The tunnels I came through were fairly straightforward. Well, what if she doesn't know where the rocket is? What if she's not there? Oh, I don't know. I start looking for it on my own, I suppose. And if you don't find it? Oh, how can I know? If I don't get proof, I couldn't survive long back inside the dome. If Peters is what we think, he just couldn't let me live. Well, you couldn't stay out there. Have to. Join up with the Mutos, maybe. I couldn't come inside. What shall I wait for you? What is it? What's happening? Transporters. Please switch on your inspection lens. Tell them to wait. One moment, Control. The image is very blurred. Would you mind adjusting the focus, please? Uh, yes. That's as far as it'll turn. You should have your inspection lens adjusted as soon as possible, madam. Yes, I will. You may proceed. Sorry to have delayed you. Thank you. Let's go, quickly. <laughs> Peters isn't taking any chances, is he? Well, he did. The moment you prove you're the real Roger Carter, he's finished. He can't be long now. I don't know, one way or the other, in another, about an hour or so. Now. When it's over, what will you do? Do? Take up where I left off, I suppose. Look, there's the edge of the dome. Move up as close as you can. Will you go back to her? Mary? Yes, yes, of course. Mother, how can you? She didn't believe in you. She tried to get you killed. It wasn't her fault. It was the things they told Yeah, but she wanted you killed. Oh, gee. To say I'm confused, I don't understand what's, what's happened tonight. Well, that's understating it pretty heavily. One thing is clear there, and that is that you helped me and that you believed in me. You may be confused, but you're not stupid. You know why I helped you? Yes. Yes, I suppose I do. I didn't until now, though. Suddenly I found it. Why did you? That I love you? All right. So that bothers you. But can't you just settle for the fact that I love you? Oh, Jean, I can't settle for anything. I'm not very good at this. Maybe I've been married too long. I've forgotten the glib things that men say to women. You're not doing badly. But if you didn't know how I felt, why did you come to me? How can I tell you? I've, I've been hunted and hounded all night. I went to the homes of my friends and they were being watched. I don't know why I came to you. I see. I'm sorry, Jean. I never intended to... Look, I think you'd better get going. Maybe when this is all over... No, go you? on, get out. This is transporter 7397. Security are looking for Richard Carter. He just left me. You can check my position.
Thank God for flushing those lights about. This, this spear, the one you gave me, where did you, where did you get it from? The new rocket. We took many things from it. I was right, I was right then. Where is it? Can you show me? It, it is close. Will you take me there? Show me where it is now. It is bad that you came back. The men were angry that I helped you. I'm sorry. This is my last chance. No. Your last chance was when you went from here before. The men will not let you go again. We could go now. You could take me before the men come back. They are back. Spread your man out. It'll be light soon, and we'll find him. Darby. Did you tell them about the weapon? About the flashback? He pulled up. Then why are you here? Why haven't you started to get going? If I told Darby, I'm trying to help you. We shall stay. Why? Why? This weapon, when they fire it, the radiation will go shooting up. Well, Darby told me more and more of your children are being born like normals. And the new radiation will end all that. Well, is that what you want? Do you want to perpetuate a, a race of creatures that will be hunted by the normals like animals? You know nothing of us, do you? All your memories have been erased. Your news machines made a name for us. They called us mutos. Not humans deformed by the walls of our fathers. Mutos. But this is why you must survive. To do this, you say we must travel to the far country? It's your only chance. You've got to get out of range of the flashback. Don't your news machines ever speak of the far country? It's, it's uninhabited. There are cities there. Muto cities. A government. A community. Then go to them! How can we? I told you. It's a muto city. The child is born in the image of a normal. It is killed. The muto is the normal. Soldiers! Many of them! They're searching! Warn the others! Go to the altar! Hurry now! Go with them! Will you take him? Yes! It's me they're after! They see you with me, they'll kill you too! They won't rest until they get me! This is what he told me! He is running from them! Then they shall have him! Leave him! They will find him! Stop it! The rocket! Follow the ridge downhill, cross the valley, in the wood, on the far side. Tarbury! It's light enough. Two of you men, get rid of this stuff. But didn't you examine the rocket before? No, we never located it. I thought maybe the robot had, had replaced you. All right, get the body out, Captain. Bring it outside. the truth. Never got to me. 
The robot never got to me. I... Probably killed when the rocket crashed. It failed, then. You hadn't escaped? Yeah. Yes, I know. We couldn't take that chance. You understand that, don't you? I suppose so. I, I knew that the robot had never got to me, but I, I had no way of proving it. I'm sorry about your wife, Alan. Do all I can to help. Thank you. I hope you don't harm some other poor devil as this happens again. I'd have to, you know that. I'd have to do exactly the same thing again. It's a terrible weapon. You think if it, had, if it had lived, it would have worked? There's no doubt. It's perfect. A couple of words, a phrase spoke. I would have detonated it. Just a, a few simple words. Don't touch it. Leave the body for the scientists. What are you doing? It's a knife. It's an outspace knife. That killed him. Carter was killed with it. You killed him and left his body in the rocket. No. No, it can't be. It can't. It can't. I can't be wrong. If, if I'm not Carter, then I must be... 